the Construction Axis tool creates a reference axis for specific parts of your model. To add a construction axis, go to the Add menu, select Construction Axis, and then select Type. From the Construction Axis menu, you can choose a construction axis type. The different types you can create are between two points, two plane intersection, cylindrical or conical, a long edge, and perpendicular to face. You can use the Between Two Points construction axis to create an axis between two selected reference points. To create a construction axis between two points, select the first point the axis will run through. Then, select the second point the axis will run through. You can also drag the points to reposition the axis. As you drag the points, they automatically snap to the grid, sketch geometry, or body geometry. To finish, select Done. You can use the two-plane intersection construction axis to create an axis at the intersection of two selected planner elements. To create a construction axis with a two-plane intersection, select two intersecting planes. To finish, select Done. You can use the cylindrical or conical construction axis to create an axis at the center of a cylindrical or conical face. To create a cylindrical or conical construction axis, select a cylindrical or conical surface. To finish, select Done. You can use the Along Edge construction axis to create an axis at a selected edge or line. To create an Along Edge construction axis, select a line or any linear edge. To finish, select Done. You can use the perpendicular to face construction axis to create an axis perpendicular to a selected planner item and through a selected point. To create a perpendicular to face construction axis, select a face, plane, or sketch profile, and then select Next. Then, select a point or select anywhere in the modeling space to define the point the axis will run through. You can also drag the points to reposition the axis. As you drag the points, they automatically snap to the grid, sketch geometry, or body geometry. To finish, select Done. To view or refine history parameters for the Construction Axis tool, find the specific step for your construction axis and open the expandable card. Depending on your construction axis type, you can update parameters such as point, plane, face, edge, and length. To update the point, plane, face, or edge setting, click the Edit or Select button to choose a new selection, and then select Done to finish. If applicable, enter the axis length in the length field.